I remember at age 17 writing a poem to my own little child. The anguish I felt while writing it, writing it was unparalleled with any pain I ever felt before in my life. The poem was a request for forgiveness from what I believed to be my son, who didn't make it to birth. A poem of remorse to a child I never got to hold. I remember the day my girlfriend told me she was pregnant. We were still in high school and scared to death. I remember falling in love with my unborn child. I also remember the day she told me she was going to have an abortion. But most of all, I remember the day I murdered my child. Sexual promiscuity may seem like fun, but it can alter the course of one's life in the form of pregnancy as well as disease. In addition to being contrary to God's word, sexual promiscuity is harmful both emotionally and physically. Sexual abstinence until marriage can spare one from what can be a lifetime of consequences. Today, we will look at some of the consequences of sexual promiscuity by looking at teenage pregnancy rates, comparing the number of abortions to the number of uh, children born to teenage moms, addressing the impact of teenage pregnancy and abortion on teenage males and females, discussing the diseases associated with promiscuity and the percentage of teenagers infected, realizing the unreliability of condoms and sexual protection. Teenage, teenage pregnancy is an epidemic. In 2006, 750,000 women younger than 20 became pregnant. The pregnancy rate was 71.5 pregnancies per thousand women aged 15 to 19, and pregnancies occur among about 7% of women. The pregnancy rate among sexually experienced teenagers was 152.8 pregnancies per thousand women aged 15 to 19. 22% of all pregnancies and abortion. In 2008, 1.21 million abortions occurred. 18% of women having abortions were teenagers. So nearly one-fifth of all abortions were uh, teenagers. Research that found that the adolescent group evidenced significantly higher antisocial traits, paranoia, drug abuse, and psychotic delusions, and reported more post-abortion suicide attempts and more nightmares compared to women who had had abortions after age 20. Teenage mothers are more likely to have serious health and emotional problems, and fathers of teenage children are more likely to have less education, decreasing earning potential, and resulting in family poverty. Now I want to take a look at sexually transmitted diseases. According to the Federal Center for Disease Control, one in four teenage girls has an STD. It's 25%. Teens and young adults who have had sex get 50% of newly of all newly diagnosed STDs each year. Condoms are not as effective as you may think. A study from Florida looked at couples who were uh, where one individual was HIV positive and the other was negative. They used condoms as protection during intercourse. Obviously, these couples would be highly motivated to use the condom properly, yet after 18 months, 17% of previously uninfected partners were now HIV positive. That is a 1 in 6 chance, the same as in Russian roulette, not good odds. One study from the School of Medicine Family Planning Clinic at University of Pennsylvania reported that 25% of patients using condoms as birth control conceived over a one-year period. At Rutgers University, the rates of infection of students with STD varied little with the form of contraception used. For example, 35-44% to used no contraceptive at all oral contraceptives, the diaphragm, or condoms. It is significant to note that condoms, the hero of the safe sex message, provided virtually no protection from STDs. It is normal and healthy to abstain from sex until marriage. In fact, it is how God intended it to be. Teenagers should be taught from the, uh, from the beginning about the adverse effects of sexual promiscuity as well as the unreliability of condoms. Teenagers should be encouraged that sexual absence is okay 
and normal. Sexual activity should be taken seriously. When considering having sex, teens need to resist physical urges and recognize the consequences of sexual promiscuity. Sexual abstinence is normal. Sex is the most intimate form of human contact. It is meant to be saved for the one special person you plan to live your life with. Sexual promiscuity may seem like fun for a moment, but in the end, it results in regret, depression, disease, and even death. Hit the red button.